Okay. Chapter number two. So I'm gonna be hanging out with journalists just now. Uh, so he's in. Let me. Let me see. Yes. Accept. Let's see what's gonna happen now. Uh, I was supposed to be having an interview. Bro. <laughs> so there's something for you. <laughs> Are you good, man? I'm alright. I'm alright. Why not? I just talk. Stop with them. I was frustrated by this thing, man. Like in England, and in Kenya, or something. Because I saw myself do the right thing, but for some reason, I act. I, you know, I, I don't know why because I was also trying it with Stefan, you know, and he's all the way out in Germany, and it connected. Yeah. So I was just like, yo, okay, this is weird. But anyway, yeah, man, you know, um, just don't forget to say. But I'll remind you when we done with the chat. Uh, don't forget to save this, um, this video on your on your wall, ne? on your timeline. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, I'll do that. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, 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 yeah. Okay, I see. I see. You know, you're in a studio setup. Looks like a radio station. What's happening there? Tell us. Hey, what the hell is that? Look at your smile. Look at your smile. It's like to know what's going on. No, no. I'm just at the uh, Afikori um, offices. So we've got a we've got this type of set up here. So now um, just at the office. So seeing as you wanted the interview. I just moved into the studio where it's more quiet, the less people, stuff like that. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, so. I know. Um, I know Afikori offices. They are next to Hyde Park. They in uh, in Joburg. I don't know what that area is called. You know, by Bompas, there somewhere. Ne? Yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it's in Rosebank. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, no, you know, I know if we call it means you, you know you are talking serious business, which is what we're talking about, you know, the music of business. Because uh, if you had those offices, it means you are planning your digital release soon. And I mean, that's what we're here to talk about, right? Uh, last yeah. Time we spoke, last yeah. Time we, spoke, we had we had, we had this interview. You know, you were just telling me about your career, your backstory, and all that. So now I just thought, you know what? Let's just have a catch up to just see. What you've been up to ever since then, and I know you know on WhatsApp you sent me a production project that you're working on. So tell me about that. Okay, so what I sent you was a production mix. You know we we've got like a new way of pushing the music these days. We no longer wait for people to look for the music. We give it to the people via the mixtape. So I just did a mixtape and put it out. It's a production mixtape. There's going to be more to come, like in future. When there's 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 a lot of music that I want to put out for people to go listen to and stuff, I just put it on the mixtape and then put it out for free so that people can listen um, and decide what they're gonna do with it. So that's what I, I sent you the the production mixtape for. Plus, the production mixtape was to kind of let people know, hey, I'm working on an album and it's done. So pretty much, I'm just on the final touches and stuff. So. Uh, I'm done. Obviously, seeing as I'm here, it means sorry, everything's done now. So a lot of people, but fella people, they be telling me, "Oh, if you can be only selling, hey Joe, when is the album coming out? What album?" It's a big thing, Jay. People are just upset over it. The album isn't out yet, but it is coming out. I can promise you this: it's coming out, and it's oh, it's crazy. <laughs> mm, mm. Uh, and 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 we're looking forward to that, man. And then you know, what what type of sound can we look forward to from the album? Is it Ama Piano? Is it Deep House? You know, what 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 are you what what, are you, what did you play with there in terms of sound? It's both. It's both. Um, I, I don't. It's 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 a lot of soulful house and uh, a lot of uh, private school piano. So you know, if you know me, soulful piano is my thing. From the times of Kelvin and everybody else that I've worked with, I'm I'm that guy. I'm private school. That's that's how I vibe. So it's both. There's a lot of that. I've got some pretty good names there. Um, I'm not gonna say who, cause if I say now, it's it's just gonna cause a lot of havoc and stuff. Around. So there's 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 a lot of good people that I worked with, producers, the craziest only. If you've been following me, 
then you should be able to pick out who I'm most likely going to put on the album on time. Obviously, Kelvin Mom is going to be there. Uh, yeah, that one, you know, it will be a sale. Yeah, and, you know, just before we talk about, you know, your collaboration with him on his latest project, uh, you know, you, you, you do, obviously, like a soulful, deep house, and then, you know, you do private school piano, which a lot of people can say is deep in my piano. But my question really is, wasn't there politics for the Adimano Shapama piano, like, you know, like with the deep house movement, you know, like a, a selling out type of thing? What's your feel on that? You know what? I go about it again. It's not about Kawa. They start the party Tawa, the political party Tawa, the modern music industry. And we're now we're looking to grow. We're looking to reach the numbers that are Americans and the, the English people. You know what I mean? We're looking to go bigger. We're looking to do numbers that you don't. We're looking to go into Africa and just get our names there on track. Um, the projects that are not in uh, well known, well to know on track. And if that means we have to collaborate with the other guys, we have to, guys. The industry, they are not in here too much, and we've got so much talent. You understand? We're, we're too small for us to be talking political parties in the music industry. The best we can do is to join forces. If what I do is accommodated by the other one, then I'm going to do it. If it's not accommodated, then I'm not going to do it. Look at the music I've done in Amapiano. Can you honestly say that it's bad? You know, no one... Not even the, the, the most um, loyal, deep house people are, are disputing it. You hear people say, you know, I don't like Amapian, but the one you do, yeah, I want that one. Is it still Amapian? Let's talk about it. We still call it Amapian. You know what I'm like? You, you tell me. <laughs> one time. Yeah, I see Amapian as the new child of, of, of South African music. It encompasses everything. You understand? It's just a matter of time till it collaborates with Afro tech. You understand? It's just a matter of time. One of these genius system music is going to figure it out and put it together and before you know it, fuck. I mean, look at what them two that was doing. Look at what guys like um, Sam Deep is doing. Have you heard the sound that thing? It's like, you wonder, like, yo, wait a minute. Like, is this still a piano? Because those ones, they, they go out of the barriers that what you would call Amampian, the, the, the love drums and so on. Mm. And I think Vibro Deep is also experimenting with Amapiano and EDM. So that's, that's... You get what I mean? Yeah. You get what I mean? So for us to be talking politics, I listen to the argument. Because now we don't care. Now we don't care. Now we're busy. You talk. You have it. You have Now we make music. People love it. Well, now they are with your small group making uh, what tweet that you, you post. Ah, this, ah, that. No, no, just make good music and that's it. Come on and all right. And obviously, you know, you, you are featured on, you know, the latest project that Kevin Momo. Yeah. Um, and, you know, every time he goes live, he always says that, you know, you guys work a lot together. So, yeah, tell me about, you know, that collaboration, man. How was that experience like? You know, with Calvin and I, it's a um, spiritual thing. He's like a little brother to me. It's like, we're like brothers with me and him. So when we make music, it's, it comes naturally. There's no hard work. There's no, it was a difficult thing. I had to take this break and put it here. But no, nah, it's just, he presses play. I just do my work. That's it. Like, we don't. We don't even dispute. I don't remember there was a t if ever there was a time when we were making a song and it was difficult to make it, you know what I mean? So he he sent a beat to me. He's like, yo, bro, I'm working on a new album. And I'm like, Pandani, we already have so much music. What do you want? He's like, you know, I want new music with you. I'm like, okay, cool. So he sends a beat to me. I work on a beat. Uh, I work on it and put some vocals on it. Had this had a couple of crazy concepts. But then something wasn't feeling right. So I went about concepts and concepts and concepts. And then, ah, and then I got the concept, the right concept. And I sent it to him um, with that beat. But then when he got it, he heard something else. And then he changed the whole thing. And then he, and then he played it to me. And I was like, what the? Yo, brother, this is crazy. What are you doing? Like, <laughs> 
Mm. It was just blew my mind. Everyone else that heard it was like, "You the song, Let It Be is just a crazy song." You know what I mean? Mm. It's mm. it's the same feels as you are about to be to type of vibes, you know, your all the other music that we did. Yeah, man. So sorry about that. I didn't realize my battery is low. Um, you know, moving forward, man, I mean, it's 2022 now and the country is finally opening up. You know, the president spoke this past week and it sounds like uh, things are going to pretty much not go back to normal, but, you know, it's going to be more open. So what does this mean for you, you know, for your career in 2022? What are your plans? Look, um, obviously there's a lot of music coming out, so I'm going to need to push a lot of it so that I don't think I need to go into details in terms of how I push, but more performances, um, more features, because there's a lot of featured projects that I'm working, I've worked on. Um, just to name a few, there's Lakshin Deep, there's Abidoza, there's Stokey, DJ Stokey, and there's is a dude there's a new dude called Chief Joints. Yo. Mm. Sound is just crazy. That's so full take type of vibes, you know what I mean? Yo. It's deep tech and so for house kind of mix. So there's there's music with uh C Moody obviously. Um there's a lot of music that I've done so far. There's more music with uh Beat Soul. Um just to name a few. Honestly, there's a lot of people. Um I'm going to release um more production mixes um, but before i do that i need to sort out the album first and yeah uh then only then people are going to hear more from me um yeah pretty much that's what's going on okay i know cool bro looking forward to it man and you know thank you so much for not giving up on this interview but because we had some re- uh, serious technical issues is there anything that you just want to say to your people out there that i might have missed I love the support. I love the support man. If you look at the comments now, I'm looking at the comments now. People are saying some beautiful things, man. Like, you know, I don't do a lot. I'm not always on social media, but when that one time you're on, people show that they really care and they really give a fuck. Like, I'm sorry to use that uh, language, but they always stay. They they go out of their way to invest their time in listening to my music and just giving me a lot of support. and stuff um ke ko pari booking sto i'm open for booking stock yo stop this thing of just supporting fella and not getting book i need bookings yo um yeah man like honestly just look out for my music thank you for the support look out for the features there's beautiful music coming out this year i'm very excited about this year the music that's coming out this year not that the ones before wasn't nice but this year is just more You, I'm telling you you're going to you're going to go on some hey bro we need more interviews again because <laughs> <laughs> after yeah. this after what's about to happen happens man and push me like can't tell you what's coming but after what's about to happen happens you're going to call and say hey bro you know what I don't think we talked enough why didn't you tell me about this you know what I mean yeah and another yeah. thing bro like another thing I need to say bro we need to take you on TV we need to take you on 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 bigger platforms you 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 have the most incredible platform every time i look at you i think of the times before i think of what you used to do with um your previous uh business your previous mm-hmm. platform and i look at how you you you're doing it again now you're going pretty far bro like you we need to take you further because you are what's next in terms of podcasting and i love the fact that you you podcast uh music you know what i mean and you don't mm. mind when I mean, you go from up there to down here you know what i mean like mm. i i appreciate your platform i'm always looking i'm always concentrating i'm always supporting and i'm always like if i could find a way to help this guy i don't know how i can but whatever way i can i will do it you know what i mean mm. i i appreciate that man and you know and and you know for me it's just about documenting you know the culture in SA you know using my talent which is journalism uh, you know those words that you just said you know they just inspire me to keep pushing further on Kalukhaina so thank you so yeah, much was, for your kind words sir. I was even I was even talking to the guys at the office right your name came up like when I was struggling with that um I asked one of the guys that was like yo bro 
Um, there's a problem I'm having here. His name is Pumi Cho. I don't know if he's going to be happy with me exposing him like that. <laughs> mm. But I was like, yo, I'm trying to do this. There's a guy who's trying to do an interview. He's like, wait, is that the journalist DJ? I'm like, yeah, that's how, that's how big you are, bro. Like, that's how big mm. your platform is. And I'm like, yeah. You know, and he's like, yeah, bro, follow his stuff. Like, shit, okay, let's see what we can do. He's the one that came up with all these um, solutions and stuff, you know what I mean? So it's just to show you that your your reach is higher than what you think. There's, mm. You might be in your own house right now and just chilling and thinking, ah, it's just five people, seven people that are watching. But actually, there's a lot of us who are watching and who are following and want you to grow. Because right mm. now, we're all about that vibe, bro. We just want something big. By the way, I just see Zano here, bro. You know how much I love this guy, bro. Like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna add him now so we can have the conversation now. He's crazy. I'm adding him. Where is he? Yeah, shout out to Zano, man. Uh, Zano, <laughs> uh, brother. We also need to catch up because the last time I spoke to Zano, it was during hard lockdown, uh, and he was busy. You know, I know he just released an EP. Uh, I think uh, a few weeks ago. So, yeah, I'm so sure. to, you know, catch up with Zano. But yo, man, Mukumuti Chosen, bro, thank you so much for the love, man. I appreciate it, bro. And I can't wait to hear the new music. Yeah, man, thanks, bro. Um, all the love, all the support. You need me, why take a guy just hollering. Good thing is Nadi Namazaka, so you don't even need social media. Oh, for me. Yeah, yeah. And don't forget to save this video on your timeline, man. Yeah, yeah. How do I do that again? Okay, let me no, see. No, no, no. When you, when, you, when you stop the live, it's going to. It's gonna oh, it's going to request. Yeah, so you just say share. Okay, cool. All right. I know. Thank you, brother. Love you, man. Love you too, bro. And keep pushing. Yeah. Thank you. Hmm.